Hi and welcome back to our Dreamweaver tutorial. In this video we're going to go ahead and add the tags that search engines need to the different pages in our site so that we can um, prepare to get our site indexed in Google and Bing and also find out how to control the way our site appears in different search engines. Now um, for this video I'm going to bring up some sample code. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize Dreamweaver and come to my desktop and I'm going to go into my framework folder and um, I'm going to go into Timothy Framework and then into HTML and the file that we're looking for is going to be search engine meta tags and I'm going to go ahead and copy that and then I'm going to go ahead and paste that into my project folder and now when I come back into Dreamweaver if I refresh I should see that HTML file here. Now this just again has some sample code in it but you can very easily you know copy from the video here um, and paste into your um, pages. But the first thing that you need to make sure that every single page in your um, website has is a title a description and a set of keywords. A title, a description, and a set of keywords. And this is the code that you're going to use for that. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to go into my home page here. And you can see that the template has probably already created a title for you and that title is actually in an editable region called doc title and then if we scroll down just a little bit more you're going to see there's another editable region here called head and that's going to be where the description and the keywords go so I'm just going to paste that in there and delete that title tag because I'm not going to need that anymore. And again, these are being placed inside of editable regions um, inside of the individual pages because although every single page needs to have a title, description, and set of keywords, the values that are associated with those tags are going to be different. Every page in your website, if you want to get it indexed by Google, should have a unique title for um, that page. You shouldn't name all the pages in your site um, the same. And your title should incorporate the different keywords that um, you want search engines to clue in on when people um, search for the uh, products or information or services uh, that your um, site offers. If you um, look in the description of this um, video, um, I have um, a link to a whole bunch of tutorials on um, search engine optimization and information on things like keywords and key phrases and how to um, work with those. Um, and again, look at the link um, in that video or in the description of this video and you'll see um, where... Um, those videos are. But every page in your site needs to have a unique title and it also ha needs to have a unique description that describes what your page is. And again, just as you should have your keywords in your title, you should put keywords in your description as well. And for my title, I'm just going to go ahead and type um, Manchester Design, Los Angeles Interior Design Company. And again, you can see here, I've got the keywords that I would want a search engine to key in on when it looks at my website. If somebody does a web search, in Google for Los Angeles interior design, 
Well, I want my website to come up for that. Um, same thing if somebody searches for the name of my company. I want that to come up in uh, my search engine. Um, getting your um, web pages to come up in a search engine is a fairly simple, fairly straightforward process. However, getting your web pages to come in high in the rankings for a search engine is uh, sometimes requires a lot more work. Um, so again, um, you may get your website indexed, but you may be result, you know, 300 that nobody is ever going to see. Um, and search engine optimization is the process of getting your page to appear higher in the rankings so you get more visitors. And again, look in the description of this video and I've got a link to more information about that. Now, your title and your description are important for more than just when a search engine comes to your website for it to find out what your website is about. Your title and your description are going to appear in the search engine result pages when somebody searches for um, your site. For example, if I go ahead and um, I'm going to open up another browser window here and go to Google and I'm going to type in Los Angeles interior design. And Google even gives you some suggestions here as far as what you may want to think about incorporating in for keywords. So I can see I may want to use I may want to use a variety of different um, forms of these this keyword. Um, for example, on one page I may um, always use Los Angeles interior design. On another page, I may say, uh, have the title Los Angeles Interior Design Firm, um, you know, so on and so forth. But when I hit enter here, you can see I've got a link here, the URL and how it's categorized, and then some text here. This is the title for that page. And this is the description for your page. So whatever you place in these two tags not only needs to make it clear to Google what your web page is about, it also needs to attract your visitors when they actually see your entry in a search engine. And you also need to go ahead and put keywords in to your um, website. And again, this might be the same um, for or very similar for every page in your site, but it should be as unique as possible. And the keywords should describe what the page is. For example, I could go ahead and do Los Angeles interior design and then comma Los Angeles interior design firm. I might want to do LA interior design, so on and so forth. And every keyword or key phrase is going to be separated with um, a comma. The description I could type um, in here, uh, the best interior design company in Los Angeles. And again, this should be these should be as unique as possible, but they should also clearly reflect um, what your page is about. If a search engine comes to your page, and it notices keywords in the title description and the keyword, the actual keyword tag, but then it never sees those words anywhere else on that page. You know, for instance, in the paragraphs of text, in your headings, in your links, then um, 
search engines are going to find that suspicious and they may discount um, your page entirely or it may actually lower your rankings. So you want to have very clear, very accurate um, titles and descriptions. Um, a lot of people will tell you that the keywords tag is um, no longer used by search engines. That's not true. Um, they don't um, value it as highly. Search engines don't value it as highly um, as they used to, but they still do look at the keywords tag. So you should definitely um, take advantage of that. And again, we'll want to do this for every single page on our website. And I'm just going to go ahead and save that and close that. Now, you're also going to want to go ahead and place this meta tag on every page that you want a search engine to be allowed to look at. And this is sort of like a, uh, a lock, or not really a lock, uh, but um, it just basically says um, to a search engine, when it knocks on your website and says, can I come in? Well, this says, yes, come in, index my page, and also follow all the links that are on this page and look at those pages as well. So you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that that is on every page of your site. And again, um, um, you can go ahead and put that in the um, template file. Now, if there are some pages in your site that you do not want a search engine to index, that's where these items here come into play. You want to make sure that you use all three of these if you do not want a particular page to be indexed by Google. And probably the most popular reason why people would use these tags is if they're working on a page uh, but they're not quite done with it and they don't want Google to index it yet they might use these right here. There's also a fourth tag right here um, and you'll see the content here says no image index. If you include this tag on a web page Google will look at the content of your page and will index it, but it will not index any of the images that are on that page. So if you want to, uh, this doesn't protect somebody from being able to right click and save your images, but what it does do is it keeps the images on your page from appearing in Google's image search. So if I did Los Angeles interior design and clicked on images here, you'll see I've got all these images come up. If you don't want the images on your page to be indexed like this, that's when you would use this tag. And very often people will use a combination of this tag with this tag to say, index the content on my site, the text content on my site, but do not include my images in your index. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this here. And this, since it's going to be the same on every page in my site, I'm going to go ahead and place that in my template file. So I'm going to come up here and you can place it anywhere you want. I usually place mine right here at somewhere near the top of the head section. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in that tag and I'm also going to go ahead and paste in this tag as well. And you're going to be able to um, uh, use any combination you want of these tags and this tag to um, tell search engines which pages to index and which pages not to index. 
and also um, what they should index as well. And again, I'll save this and I'll go ahead and hit update here and then close. And that's all the tags that you're going to need to set up on your page in order to allow a search engine to index your um, site. But you're not done yet with the process of optimizing your site by any means, or you're also not done with the process of getting your site into Google, Bing, and other search engines. Just putting the tags here set, tells a search engine when they find your site what to do with it. But it doesn't tell the search engine, hey, my site exists. And that would be the next step um, that you would probably follow if you want to get your um, site indexed in Google. And again, if you look in the description of this video, um, we have a, um, a whole bunch of information on search engine optimization and how to get your website um, listed in Google, Bing, and other um, search engines. So look in the description of this video um, or go to www.timothyseo timothyseo.net um, and you'll find out more information about um, search engine optimization. In the next um, video in our Dreamweaver tutorial series we're going to go ahead and begin sort of finishing up our pages for our website. The next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to see how to create image rollovers. And in this case, the image rollover just changes the image color from a sepia color image into the full color version of it. So we'll see how to create image rollovers here in the um, next video. We're going to see in a following video how to do um, sortable tables, um, how to add a frequently asked questions list, and also how to set up an image gallery on your website. But the next um, Dreamweaver tutorial we're going to do is we're just going to see how to add these simple rollover effects on your um, images. So I will see you in the next video.